Hello my friends and welcome to my studio. I'm Vlad Duchev and today we're going to talk about uh, canvases or boards, canvas boards or yes basically canvas boards. Uh, a lot of people were asking me and still asking me what I use for my panels and I actually have a video. If you search my videos you will find how to make uh, the panels, how I'm making my panels but I guess I skipped the part you know, when we're explaining uh, what materials I'm using. So today I got a new shipment from my supplier and I decided I'm going to show you, you know, how these materials are actually coming. Very simple um, and how I'm using it. So very short video about uh, materials that we can use to make our own uh, canvas boards. So let's get started. All right, so let's um, let's get started with the materials. Um, what I'm using to make my own panels. Uh, for example, you know this painting that I really love. Um, this is made uh, or painted on gator board with canvas oil prime prime canvas glued to gator board. Uh, and as you can see, we have actually stamps from plein air competition. So basically this is a quarter inch, actually it's not even a quarter inch, I think it's 3 16 um, thickness, uh, white, you can buy it in white, you can buy it in black color. Um, i never seen it actually in gray color, so I'm not sure, but I definitely I have both in black and in white. And I'm going to show you um, the actual materials when they come, because I have a shipment today. So when I'm ordering my materials, I'm considering two factors. The first, the sizes of the boards and um, whatever I need. And lately I, you know, just start painting, um, even for planar, just big old, bigger pieces of bigger or larger canvases. I'm um, trying to avoid like um, nine by 12, 11 by 13, and probably 12 by 16 is a start you know, the, the first start size that I, I can use uh, because of the brushwork. And I'll, I will shoot another video about this. Um, a lot of, a lot of uh, beginners, uh, people who want to learn oil painting, they want to start with a small. You can do small, it's a for study work. But in order to feel and get experience with the brushwork, you need to actually learn paint larger. And I know it's difficult, but with right, right and proper guidance, uh, I think it's possible. And that's what I teach in my course. Uh, just to jump from the small sizes, just regular sizes, um, to larger sizes. I think painting in larger sizes is just much easier to learn than trying to squeeze it into small. Uh, the small one, like six by eight, that I normally, you know, um, evangelize for. <laughs> so to speak, uh, is just a study work. So basically several strokes just to feel the combination of the colors, the values, the composition, everything else. It's completely different from actual painting. All right, so back to materials. I got the materials today. So I ordered uh, all the materials that I need because the planner you know, season is upon us. And I want to make sure I have enough canvases prepared for my daily paintings and also for plein air for the competitions. You will need the canvases and also you will need the frames that, you know, I'm looking at my pile of frames and I, th I think I'd like, wow, I need to order. So probably tomorrow after tomorrow I will be ordering a lot of uh, frames. All right, so what I order or when I normally order uh, for my, you know, plein air competition season and make sure I have in my studio, you know, available. So the first one is a canvas. So normally I order two uh, kind of canvases and two types of each two kind of uh, canvases. One is uh, oil prime linen, and I'll show you, and it comes in two sizes, one over here and one is over here. One is actually still in the tube, and I'll show you, we're gonna pull the canvas out of the tube. I only remove the tape from here, so I'm not, I don't even know what it is. I mean, I know what it's inside because this is what I use, but 
it's always surprise when you pull it from the tube. All right, so this is oil prime linens in another tube that actually uh, it was shipped late, or I'm not sure, maybe, maybe there's delay in shipping, but it's actually uh, cotton uh, canvas. Uh, and I look, like cotton for larger pieces because it has a surface. The surface of the canvas is more like, a, uh, it's really hard to explain, but for different pieces of paintings, you need to have different you know, surface, all right? So basically linen right here, oil prime, and I have cotton um, canvas roll for different paintings because it has a little bit more structure on surface of the, you know, of the canvas. And a lot of times I'm, you know, not a lot of times, but sometimes I feel like I need, instead of this, because Centurion, which is this one, both of them, uh, it's more more for portraiture style, like smooth. Uh, I just accustomed to it. But the more I try cotton uh, or more rough surface, I like it more. Yeah, you kill the brushes, but it's just more because you you can make some a lot of beautiful brush strokes on almost dry brush. Different subject, but yes, uh, you need to kind of study that. Uh, and that's this is exactly this is what I teach in my course. Different, you know, you have to find your you know your spot, like golden spot, uh, something that you will love to use on your style of paintings. Anyway. So the canvases, uh, rolls of the canvases, and I'm buying rolls. True and not true. Uh, sometimes I'm buying for studying, I buy sheets. And this is a sheet of 16 by 20. And actually, right here we have that prime. So this is um, linen primed with two coats of acid-free titanium primer. Okay, so it's acid-free titanium primer. So the cotton uh, roll, canvas roll, is that titanium primer. Uh, it's uh, acid-free titanium primer. So it's not, you know, acrylic. It's uh, just different, you know, mixture of, uh, mixture of paint or ground. So this is the uh, canvas pad, what do we call, uh, 10 sheets extra strong quality prime linen uh, this is actually linen this is not a ca uh, cotton uh, and for use with a variety of paint media including oils acrylics um, alkyd egg tempera and more and it's by native a uh, creative mark i'm sorry uh this is six as i said 16 by 20. Uh, this is probably the smallest size um, excellent. I, I use uh, 14 by 18 uh, a lot. Uh, so it's a pad, as you know. You can open it up and you see 10 sheets of linen. And all you have to do, just rip it from the pad. And as you can see right here, I have it actually taped to gator board. So this is a gator board that you know, I'm using for my canvases like from the pad and I'm taping it and, you know, working on it. So this is getting ready for, for painting. Um, I have a white gator board and I will show you what I'm getting actually uh, for my, you know, I, I got it today actually, the gator boards. Uh, a lot of times I have another one, the same size and painted gray, something like this. Uh, this is what I, I used to use this for small and still using for six by eight. It's a painted, basically it's a canvas, artist loft, canvas painted gray neutral color. And then I would just take six by eight from the pads. And I have a bunch of pads in my shelf right there. So this is for study works. And I have same one, this style, this is 24 by 30, I think. So 24 by 28, I think. Uh, in the gray color, just spray it with uh, neutral gray color. And sometimes you use gray, it's just busy right now. It, you know, if that is taken by, you know, canvas. I'm using this one and I have, I think I have another five or six sheets of 24 by 36 white with no glue on it. So 
I used to glue, you know, apply glue and then apply canvas uh, sheet and then glue it, put it under weight and on and on. But we live in new technologies. So, so we live in, you know, new technologies, so we have to use it. Same with like iPhone, right? Some people, some artists are like, well, you can't use iPhone. We can, uh, because, you know, Van Gogh or Cezanne or Rembrandt will be jumping. Uh, you will show them my phone and, and as a, like help for your artists, for you as an artist. So why not to why not to use new technology? So I think it's just it's just ridiculous not to use new technology. Anyway, I um, I use two sizes of Gator boards. This is 18 by 24 Gator board, and this is self adhesive, same size. 316 or quarter inch. I, I'll call it quarter inch, but it's not quarter inch. It's 316, actually. Um, white, as you can see, and it's self adhesive. So this side, this is actually a film that you can peel. If I can catch it, yeah. Oops. And the glue behind is actually acid free. So you just peel it like this. So when you're ready. There's a video how to make your own uh, panels. You just peel it, you have your canvas unrolled and you just drop it, push it, cut it, then flip it, and then use a roller to make sure there is a you know, solid contact between the board and the canvas. And you just pile them and that's it. And they're just waiting for the season to be painted. So this is 18 by 24 just to make sure I, I'm not spending time. Uh, I normally take this to my plein air competitions and I can cut any sizes. I can cut, if I need six by eight, I can cut tons of those. If I need nine by 12, for some reason. I normally use this for like 10 by 20 you know, horizontal, like panoramic views. Or uh, if I need uh, 12 by 16, or any sizes. Basically, I'm limited to only to 18 by 24. This is, and I would probably paint 18 by 24 paintings, you know, vertical or horizontal, or I will cut, if I need something like panoramic, I'll cut 10 by 20. I have, you know, this is, this size is allowing me to. Uh, so this is size number one. I have a ton of those. I think I just order uh, like 30 panels, which will more than enough for season and if it's not enough the next size is 24 by 36 right here self adhesive too and this is mostly again if i'm running out of 18 by 24 i can cut this any sizes i want i you know if i do like if i want 24 by 24 square big square format i can use it if i want something like 12 by 24 i can use this or i can use entire 24 by 36 i'm actually working on two paintings right now i'm getting ready to paint uh with the figures and it will be 24 by 36 i'm just enjoying painting big big sizes okay and basically that's it uh i take Oh, I, for, I forgot, let me show you. I completely forgot to show you actually the rolls. So this is the roll of the small one. As you can see, this is five feet, uh, maybe a little bit less. Uh, linen, oil pine linen as a roll. And I still have, I still have enough to the work on it. I actually like this uh, better because it's just, you know, uh, easier to unroll and put, you know, canvases just because it's not big. Um, but when I was ordering, this size was not available. So I have to order that monster. All right, so this is a small one and they come with yards, which is like, I don't even know how to calculate. Um, yeah, give me meters. All right, so let me put it right here. And let's unroll this one. This is a big one. So this is, I think, what, about seven feet? Yeah, probably. All right, so taking this. So it comes in, you know, uh, in hard shell tube. And I recommend keeping that tube. If you need to ship something, you can, you know, cut. If you need to ship canvas, um, 
or something, um, you can cut this tube and ship it, use it for the shipment. So let me try to pull this out. So, and it's normally really hard to pull it out because the vacuum that sits on the other end. Oh, all right. So this is the canvas. The so canvas comes in well, it's actually well packed. Uh, comes in, so it comes in plastic, uh, which is really good. And you can see this is same, absolutely, you know, same as this. It's just different size. So I'm not gonna unpack it. Uh, I'm gonna use this first. And when this is done, I'm gonna use this. I just wanted to make sure I have it in my studio. So this is basically, this is the roll, two rolls of canvases that I'm gonna glue to my uh, gator boards, self adhesive gator boards. Very fast, easy, not messy. And uh, I just pile them on top of each other for a day or two and it's more than enough. And then I just put against the wall and they just sit and wait until, uh, you know, until we paint something beauty on those canvases. That's it. Um, as I mentioned, two canvas, uh, rolls i normally buy rolls not uh canvases you know uh, boards that already size because you never know what you're gonna paint and then they those panels are sitting uh, on your shelves and you're basically painting because you have that size and you have to instead of i need to cut the size that i need for my painting you would you know your, your board selection dictating you what to paint what size which is i think ridiculous as well so uh, you, everything needs to be around what you need, not you surrounding with stuff that dictates you what to what you to do. So try to be free from those, you know, dictatorship of materials, <laughs> kind of. Uh, same with the brushes. The, the reason I have so many brushes, I'll probably like right now, I'm probably getting to 500, because if I need a brush, I need I can go and grab it. Now, you may say it's worth of probably, I don't know, three, four thousand dollars um, of brushes. I didn't buy them all together. I may be buying one or two a month, uh, maybe more, but you know, every time you buy, it's maybe like $20 and you're just getting a lot. And I'm at the point <laughs> to give up maybe some, some brushes. So my main point is, uh, make sure you, uh, you dictate what you need, not materials that you have dictating what, how do you be, you will behave basically how you paint. So that's main point. So when you're buying tubes like this or pads, you know, pads like this, this is 16 by 20 that can be cut to any sizes, glued to, not glued, taped, taped to any, or one board and you can you know uh, do study work uh, let it dry and then if you don't like it just you know roll it and throw it away or just you know hundreds of this roll I mean canvas uh, sheets can be rolled into a big roll and save somewhere so it's just more convenient for you right so you're not dealing with what you have from your supplier but what you need material so you can make your life more uh, artistically uh, free. Maybe that's the right word. I'm not sure. So <clears throat> I would recommend instead of buying sizes or, you know, maybe if you painting, let's say it's 12 by 16 standard size, right? Nine by 12 and 12 by 16, two standard size, eight by 10, another small size, right? And if this is your satisfaction and this is only what you use, yeah, you can buy a bunch of those boards and you didn't have to you know, spend time making those panels. Uh, I like you know, different formats. Sometimes I don't want to even be um, in that constraint of um, standard size. Um, I see a lot of like Scott Christensen that I, uh, I have respect to. Sometimes I look at his sizes, it's just you know, 12 and a half by 28 and a half or three quarter. So he's dictating, his painting style is dictating what frame he's gonna order or what canvas he needs. And 
you see a lot like in even in russian artists they never stick to standards they always paint whatever they need and then make a, uh, frames for their paintings what they need so that's that's a huge i think a lot of times we think that you know whatever our suppliers are offering us that's it that's that's what we have to do no absolutely not uh, you have to be free from that so uh, buying the gator boards or buying the boards or buying you know um, sometimes even scratching your own canvases or a lot of the, like John Crump from from uh, New Zealand I love his work and you know he's amazing um, he's using uh, linen tape to to the board and he's using whatever he needs if he goes to paint something he needs okay i need this this and he's starting you know start painting and this is this is a size now you can put you know the uh, what do you call it mat around and then standard frame and mat is uh, um you know the mat um i can show you what the mat For example, you know, uh, if you paint something like this on linen, and then let's say you took the size that is not standard to get to standard frame, because frame will be not standard frame will cost you a little bit more. So what you can do, you can adjust your size from your non-standard uh, painting to standard uh, framing by using mats. And the mat, I'm, I'm talking about this mat so it's used a lot for um photographs uh watercolorist using it or gouache painters they're using it a lot it's a mat that you can basically order it's not expensive so you let's say you have non-standard and put this down let's say you have non-standard size of your painting right then you say okay my painting is non-standard or not standard but next size standard frame is let's say i don't know I, I use difference i mean just i'm not going to use the numbers right just this will be standard so what you can do you will take okay i need to order mat which is not standard size on inside this will be cut out not standard and then this side outside size of the mat will be standard so basically this is your adjuster or adapter from not standard canvas to standard frame okay uh, a lot of people are actually using this or if you paint and you know board and you want to uh, this you just cut it a lot of times i paint something and i was like you know, you know this sky is just i'll show you for example uh this painting right here uh winter winter scene uh scenery um you know snow and blah 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 now look where it kind of came from this was a 12 by 16 board so i cut actually bottom so if you flip this snow used to be like up to here up to here just a lot of snow not in the center just a lot of snow and i was you know fuzzing and buzzing and it was not going it wasn't working and I decided, you know what, let me cut whatever I need. And I just cut it, move it down, and voila. You know, you have a painting that you, I'm satisfied, and the size is, really doesn't matter. So if I need to frame it, I have to measure it and send it to my framer, and my framer will send me a frame. Yeah, it will be more, a little more expensive. To be honest, I don't even know what's this size. Let me measure it, actually. Oh yeah, right. It's actually eight by sixteen, so it's standard. Um, I think when I was cutting it, I was like, mm, I need to make sure this. <laughs> I will use a standard frame, but I could do it without even measuring. Just cut it, whatever I need, and then send to my friend, you know, framer, and said, Hey, I need this size of frame. Can you make it for me? Yes, we can do. Blah blah blah. It will be extra fifty dollars or so to beat. All right. That's actually it for today. Um, this is, I just got a shipment, as I said, 
for my board and panel getting ready for planar competitions and for studio. Two sizes of boards, one is 18 by 24 and one is 24 by 36, humongous uh, gator board. Uh, if you want to go larger than this, then you have to switch to half inch thickness instead of thickness, not thickness, half inch uh, thickness instead of uh, 316. And we have two rolls of uh, linen, oil prime linen. One is about five feet and one is less than seven feet. Uh, smooth surface at Centurion DLX. And I ordered another roll of uh, cotton. Um, mid is, I think it's a uh, 10, uh, 10 OZ, uh, which is not smooth, a little bit rougher, but not really rough. And also I have, uh, I'm ordering normally the pad. And I just show you the, this pad. Uh, this is a big one, 16 by 20 pad canvas pad centurion and this is not oil prime this is acid free titanium primer that you use on this 10 sheet so and you can see that one of the sheet is actually taped to cater board um, and ready to to be used i can you know so you know cut it not cut it but put a tape and make make maybe six small paintings or you know, put tape like this and have two verticals, or I can put tape like this and uh, practice on two horizontal uh, paintings, so, so on and on. You can do a lot of things. This is more those pads or this pads, and sheets are more for study work than or prepping for paintings, what I do right now. Um, that's it. That will be all for today, so let me know if you have any questions. I know this is not a demo. I'm actually going to put a kind of poll. What do you want to see next? Uh, I'm busy with a lot of stuff right now, getting ready for uh, competitions and uh, finishing working on my course and painting actually. So if you want to see more demos, let me know. I hope this will be actually much easier for me just to turn the cameras on and start painting. If you want to see tutorials of anything, just let me know. I know that there's uh, some people ask me about making tutorials about or reviews. I ask you tutorials, at more probably reviews than tutorials for like paint and brands, uh, brushes, uh, and something else I forgot. Uh, someone was asking about how I see abstraction. I think I actually made one video about what is abstract work versus um, realism or hyperrealism. So watch that video, please. All right, that's it. Let me know what you want to see next and I will see you next time. Oh, of course, I forgot. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell and stay tuned uh, because a lot of videos are coming. Um, not really a lot, but I'm trying my best. And if you already subscribed, guys, you know, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for you know watching my videos and staying tuned and for all your amazing questions and comments and everything else. I'll see you next time. Here we go.